Hey everyone, I just wanted to hop on and share this um, ephemera storage folder that I made um, for the 100 day project. Uh, I am working on using up my scraps. That's what I'm doing for the 100 days is using up my scraps. So I saw um, a video from Rachel over on Roxy Creations, I think. And um, she did a, a quick little show and tell on what she made for, for her storage um, ephemera and I loved it so I thought well I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and use up my scraps doing it and mine's a little bit different than hers um, she used a uh, like a, a mailing folder envelope and I had got a bunch of these um, file folders at a thrift store so I thought well I'm gonna try that I'm gonna use it up so everything that I did in here I used up my scraps um, so I just wanted to quickly share and see what y'all thought I'm super excited about it um, I'm probably gonna make a bunch of them I'm thinking maybe I'll do some for um, categories like some for label stamps whatever anyways I'll just show you so um, I collaged the front of of the file folder I'll show you what it looked like before real quick so it was just this just a regular it's pretty sturdy file folder um, and then you make these pockets I haven't sewed them in I'm not quite sure if I will sew them in or what type of binding I want to do. I was kind of thinking about doing an elastic, which I've never done it before, like the Traveler notebook style binding. But anyways, so I put a pocket here and um, I used, and she used, she called it trace or architectural tracing paper. And um, I used some, some scrap vellum, but I also used tracing paper as well that I actually had a pad that I had picked up a while ago from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. It was just like this, just regular old tracing paper. And it was super cheap. I think it was less than $2. So that was the only new thing that wasn't a scrap that I used. So, um, there's pockets here and I just quickly stuffed some stuff in here just to kind of show you I don't know exactly what I'm gonna end up putting in this one this folder for for good I just have to wait and see I guess what what my needs are um, I put a uh, a flap here these are cards vintage playing cards and then there's three little pockets here and I just stuck some vintage images in there. Three little pockets on this side. Some postcards and you know, you can basically just make this according to your needs. If you need big pockets or little pockets or whatever, but I, I, all of this is scrap paper. I just sewed these strips together and um, I'm I'm really excited because I feel like I'm finally starting to make somewhat of a dent in my scraps. It's another pocket. I just put some labels here. This is a little packet of stamps. Um, another pocket, library card. This is something else that I did with my scraps. I made a, I guess you would call it a maybe a Franken envelope. I'm not quite sure, but yeah. So here's another one with three pockets. So, I mean, you can use this for, you know, whatever suits your needs. And there's a bunch of these and I have a file box that I'm not using. So I was thinking I can just make them up and have one maybe just for black and white photos or here's some tickets, some labels, however, you know, and however you want to do it. And all you do is you just put your papers together and glue down little see-through pockets with your vellum or your tracing paper. So it was a lot of fun and like I said, I'm using my scraps and that's what I wanted to do. So I am super happy about that. So I just thought I would share. Here's the little ones. She had um, quite a few ones for stamps and hers so she could see all of her stamps. Um, so I have some here for stamps as well. And another pocket. I didn't put any on this side yet. 
another pocket. So yeah. And I used some, I have this scrap piece of, I don't even know what it, what it's called, but it was see-through. So I thought I'll go ahead and use that too. Why not? Let's see if you can, what is this called? Does anybody know? Kind of reminds me of tool a little bit, but I don't know. Anyways, now I'm not done with this. I haven't finished decorating this side yet, but I just thought I'd hop on real quick and, and share and see what y'all think. It was fun to do. Um, it took me a day and a half, I would say, so far anyways. So, you know, scrap papers from old vintage ledger papers that I just made a pocket out of because it's so purdy. Love it. But, yeah. Oh, I'll show you my papers real quick. So, um, what I did, I have a bunch of, you know, this size from when you have a 12 by 12 piece of paper and you're cutting it down for your journals. Now, I mean, you know, I'll make pockets and whatnot out of it, but I just sewed three of these pieces together. See, one, two, three. And, and then I also, if I had a larger piece of paper, I just, like right here, use one of those strips to add on to the larger piece of paper to make it. A whole page and I did different sizes as far as these these folder things go but yeah so there you go so that's just an idea if anybody's interested in using up your scraps or whatever that's just something that you can do hope y'all like it thanks